having music be more of a uh, uh, be more at the forefront of future festivals. I think more in the in the ex in the experiential parts we have, we've added a more programming of just live music at night. Now, from the film side, it really comes from the artists who don't know, of course, what you're going to get. But um, we just found that this tends to be a real trend happening of talking about music and and film sort of together. That impulse of creativity seems to be very similar between musicians and independent filmmakers in particular. So I think it's sort of this uh, natural um, sort of occurrence that's happening. It, it's fun. It's, I really love these films that we're showing because yeah. they really do let you into. It's not just about a, a bunch of uh, great musicians talking about music. It's really talking about their creative impulses, which is so tied to what we all do you know, in the film. Yeah, and they, they asked, we were invited, and that's how this started. Uh, I, I personally, to London. Never, to London. yeah, I'm sorry, to London. Yeah, uh, in personal, I, I would never, I would be uncomfortable pushing our way into someplace. It, it, to be invited is a better way to go. And then once we were invited, okay, what's the criteria? And then what they wanted was we want you to bring independent product or uh, American product here. And of course, music was part of it. And that allowed us to bring Tebow and Burnett, um, other musicians, along with the artists themselves, and in that way we, we could make some kind of an impact in London, but only American film. So in, in that sense it becomes a, a, a cultural exchange. Now the question is, is it going to work or not? And, and if it doesn't, I wouldn't want to stick around and not go back, but we've been invited back. So that will expand. More, more music. It will work. <laughs> <laughs>